John, big game tomorrow, needless to say, the league leaders coming down here. Um, but it's only going to be a good night for us if we get a result, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, we measure success and a good night uh, if we've got three points. Anything other than that won't be quite so good. So um, we're hoping it will be a good night uh, for everybody uh, connected with Crawley Town because uh, obviously we're going to have a huge attendance. Wolves are going to bring a lot of fans with them. They are the league leaders. Um, utmost respect for what they've already done this season. And um, we will be looking to try and upset the odds, I think. How well do you know Kenny Jack? He's been in football a long time, hasn't he? Yeah, he kicked me a few times, I have to say, uh, back in the day. Um, yeah, we, we played against each other a few times and uh, obviously followed his managerial career. Um, he's doing particularly well this season. Um, he did brilliantly actually keeping Millwall in the Championship. Um, I think his job was, uh, uh, the work that he did there, I think got uh, un underestimated to be honest. He did a fantastic job there. And um, you know, knowing Kenny what he's like, he's very thorough, very professional, uh, a proper gentleman. And um, he gets his team playing very similar. Um, they've got no, you know, they won't carry any passengers with Kenny. Uh, Kenny makes sure that everybody in his team has to work hard to deserve uh, to wear that shirt. And, um, you know, they've obviously had a, an amazing run. I think it's nine victories and one draw in their last 10 matches. So, um, you know, they come here as the league leaders and um, everybody sets out to try and, and beat them. And, and each and every week, you know, lots of teams have lots of teams bigger and better than us have actually tried to beat Wolves and come unstuck. So uh, it's a hard task for us, but it's one that we're relishing and really looking forward to. You saw actually Wolves' last defeat, I think, up at Gillingham uh, back in I, January. I did, yeah. So, I was... so it is possible, they're not unbeatable. No, exactly. And, um, you know, on the night, on a not particularly uh, good playing surface, I mean, Wolves obviously enjoy playing at Molyneux, uh, which is a, an amazing stadium and it's also a fantastic surface that they got there. Um, but I saw them down at Gillingham where they didn't quite get their game together on the night. Uh, and Gillingham made it very hard for them and uh, obviously uh, learned a few bits and pieces uh, from Wolves on that particular night, but it just shows you that um, they are beatable. Uh, but I've, I've said that many times, Bruce, I've stood here and, and told you about this league. and. Uh, We've actually both agreed on the fact that anybody on any given day can beat anyone else. And uh, uh, it's it's a great game for us to look forward to, an exciting game. Uh, I was delighted, obviously, in beating Colchester at the weekend. Um, we really had to roll our sleeves up in that one. And uh, and we showed, a, we showed a, a, a lot of courage, actually, to, to play that second half, uh, just by winning by the, the one goal, being ahead by just the one goal. And it shows a lot of courage that you have to go out there and protect that, which they did, which they did magnificently. Everybody in the side, we defended from the front. Uh, obviously, the, the usual suspects at the back um, kept us in the game uh, many times. The back four played very well. The goalkeeper, uh, PJ, played very well indeed. But um, we also defended from the front. Uh, people like Billy Clark were working uh, overtime really to make sure that we kept that one 0 lead, and um, it was a great it was a great team performance. Although it wasn't spectacular to watch, um, but sometimes you just have to dig in. And um, you know, I made a couple of changes during the game, which which turned out to you know it worked to our favour. Got Sergio on, who just gave us um, a little bit more defensive cover, possibly in the centre midfield, and he come off playing very well. Um, and obviously Jamie up front come on and uh, he, he has that real impact when he comes on as a substitute and um, he's done that in, in the times, the last three home games I think he's come on around that time and uh, gone on to play very well for us. So um, all in all it was a great team performance and uh, I'm looking for the same again against Wolves. A lot of sides come here and sit back. I imagine with uh, nearly 2,000 fans following them tomorrow night, Wolves fans will demand that their side come at us a little bit more than perhaps we've seen in some recent home games. Yeah, that's very true. Very true, Bruce. And um, you know, they've got the luxury of being in the in the position that they're at, they're, they're in. They can afford to gamble, you know. They're, uh, they're at the top of the league, but um, uh, it's no coincidence that they're at the top of the league because obviously the way that they've been playing, they've been playing away from home and actually going for the for the wins, as you say. Um, and we don't know how to play any other way, Bruce. We're, we're the same. Um, we don't quite possibly have the, the firepower that they have and um, we don't have the budget that they have either. But that's another story. Um, they've um, they've, they've uh, always gone away from home and, and, and tried to win games. So 
it, it, it's got all the makings of a very exciting entertaining game because certainly we won't sit back we only know how to play one way and that's um, to go forward and, and try and score goals and try and win football matches and uh, you know we're not out of it yet we I set my uh, boys a target uh, before last Friday before Colchester we had 15 games left 45 points and that was our target we only need 42 now we talked about the Wolves fans. How important tomorrow night are our fans? Because it's a full house crowd. Did you really get the atmosphere going? Oh, it'll be a brilliant night. You know, I'm tingling just stood here thinking about it. You know, um, full house with the, with the lights on is uh, is always a great atmosphere. I always think um, when you play underneath the, the floodlights. And um, Wolves were the very first team to have them, I think. In, uh, back, back in, in black the day. And white. Back in the day, Bruce. Well, you'll remember it probably better than I would. But uh, no, it was... Um, uh, under lights is always a, an exciting time, I think, and uh, obviously the Crawley fans turn up after a, a good win on Saturday, and um, I'm hoping that we'll hear their voices.